Dub YouTube, you Twoobe. Mr. Keen coming at you live from the classroom. That's right, back in the classroom today. Okay, let's just jump right into the assignment. Today you're going to be doing something called a FET. And it's going to be going over basic forces. Alright, you've learned about, a lot about it already. And today you're going to start practicing it in a simulation. So first part, please read the scenario about tug of war and give your opinion on whether or not you think it'll be fair. Next, click on this link. Okay, once you're in the link, I want you to find the thing called net force. Okay, and then here's how it works. Basically, you can drag the people and put them in positions that you want. Remember, these are just computers, so it may not represent real life, but it's trying to show net force. Okay, and you may notice even if they're equal, if someone gets the ball rolling, as they say, they'll have an advantage. So if someone slips up, then they'll have, this person will have an advantage because it's harder to stop it once it's already started moving. And you can also click these if you want to speed the speed, the forces labeled. Okay. Yep. And then here's how the second question works. Basically, what you do is you follow the prompt. So like this one's the same size, same placement on rope. And you hit return. So let's get people the same size, same place on rope. Boom. And then say what happens. So like, for example, this one, actual movement, they don't move. The sum of the forces is zero. 250 to the left, 250 to the right. They cancel out. You can put zero newtons for the unit. And then same size, different placement on rope different size, same place on rope, okay? So that's the idea, you listen to the prompt and then you write what will happen. And then here, you have to answer the analysis questions. And the next part, you go to motion and friction. So you click motion here, and here's motion, a hypothetical one where there's no friction. And here, there is friction. They don't have a skateboard, so there is gonna be friction this time. Yep, so you play around with it like that. You get all the labels if you want. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then you answer the analysis questions about those. The last question, I want you to understand what causes things to move at all. Hint, it has to do with forces. Okay, so force should be in your answer. That is the last thing for today. Thank you so much for staying with me. Best of luck on the assignment. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.